spiritual field around it. And we see that happening around us constantly. And that's why a place like the PLC, of course, is so important. To create this spiritual field of, of strong minds, of positive people thinking positive thoughts, so that planting those spiritual thoughts are planted in a good, fertile field. Now, Angie talked about this theme a little last time, and he gave the examples of the building and the money and the, the water, but let's think of how he did that. You see, he's been fertilizing this field, <laughs> developing this spiritual field for, you just told me, 27 years. Because what's he doing? He's in all of these civic groups helping people out, isn't he? He's been helping the schools. He's been helping lots of different organizations. He's been doing what he can to make people happier and, and have a better quality of life. And then he's taught hundreds of us good spiritual principles to develop our spiritual minds. And so we think he's doing that to be good, but it's all selfish. <laughs> because what he's doing, what he's been doing for almost 30 years is developing this strong, fertile, spiritual field around him. And so when he plants this idea of this building and of the things that are going to happen and the things that are needed, he's planting it in this strong spiritual field. But he didn't stop there. And he planted the seed among others too so that it, they would help grow it in the spiritual field. And then he went on in effect, to water it and develop it, you know. He told the people, this is the money we need. You know, can we work on grants like Stella and some other did? Can we do other things to get it? When he contacted the water people, he said, you know, you could donate those uh, water meters to it. He's planting that little seed. They couldn't do that. But then when it came time for the water lines, and he could remind them, hey, you wanted to help us. <laughs> and so he did his work. We have that. And this is how we do it. We develop the spiritual field around us. We develop good, strong spiritual seeds to plant it. And we make sure that that development goes on. And let me put in one other thought on this idea. <laughs> I think there's a difference, by the way, between thoughts and ideas. And ideas are great. I, I think ideas, though, are the things that only develop the physical world. You know, how do you make a, a light bulb? When Thomas Edison and his crew developed that, I mean, that was a brilliant idea. It, it, all of us gained by it for thousands of years, but it's an idea about the physical world. I think a thought is about the spiritual world as well. And remember, that doesn't distinguish that. So if we affect the spiritual, we affect the physical. And we know that there's a divine intelligence, and I've covered that as many of us have before, and I've covered it again from a science look showing that it's absolutely ridiculous to think that everything happens can be random when you look at the science behind it. And so if it's not random, it means there is an intelligence. And if there is an intelligence having thoughts, then we are those thoughts. Each one of us is the thoughts of the intelligence of the universe. But remember, too, the rules, the laws we've established is nothing is created and nothing is destroyed. The best physics in the world will tell you all of the energy was here at the Big Bang. Energy is never created, it's never destroyed, it only changes shape, it changes conditions. And as the thoughts of the divine, we were not created here the day you were born, we always existed. And when the thought of this body leaves, we are not destroyed. 
Because that thought of our spiritual being, by the very laws of nature, must always be there. And we can change form, but we are eternal, as is all of the energy of the world. Bravo.